Hello everyone, welcome to NX Group. Hey. So I'm going to share with you a presentation that, that uh, reflects all the results that we have been um, having related with uh, underground robotics and open pin robotics. So I'd like to start with the, with the motivation behind all, all the, this solution. So, and actually it's our purpose. Um, we work for humanized mining which is very important, I mean, and, and, and what we mean by that is that we want to make mining more human, more um, taking care of people and improving their working conditions and improving safety, that's the main, the main thing here. So uh, let's talk a little bit about NIX. In NIX we have four main lines. One of the main ones is that we are ammonium nitrate produ producers we also uh, were explosive producers, and uh, we sell also electronic initiation systems. And the last one, and is uh, the one where, where I am going to be focused, is the blasting services. So what we mean by that, uh, we are the ones that load and make the blast at the, at the mine. Okay, so what's the context of this? Um, we are now, we're living in a process, a very interesting uh, phase in mining where we need to achieve new mining resources and they are get harder to, to get and for the other side uh, we want to reduce the presence of people in risky areas so if we mix these two aspects and then we need definitely to think about automation so once we evaluate the value chain we see that the, the main links are here uh, and the last one and, and the one that was missing in terms of automation and robotics was um, blasting. So this is where we start to think, why not to develop something to have a, a tele-remote solution to make the blast without exposing people in very specific fields, the fields where we have harder uh, environments. So uh, just to double click uh, in the, in the Two main aspects: uh, safety is the is the must, but also we think the productivity in automation will become the must of the future. So we need to work under under this umbrella, um, and and this is why we develop the robo miner that is here and the other solutions like like my nitrack and steam nitrack. What are the challenges? And, and he, he, this is something very interesting to share here. And is if we talk about safety, we found. In, in mining, in open pit mining, uh, geomechanical instabilities, bottom mine operations, or operations that are close to the wall. Uh, those are situations that are very complex and where you need to have a very novel solution to, to tackle the problem. For the other side, we have hot holes in some places and uh, even environmental conditions that make big issues like foggy conditions. Finally, if we think about productivity, here we can we can think that these solutions can can uh, solve uh, or can get benefit related with interoperability, autonomous operations, and fleet management. And and, and what we mean by that is that uh, we can control with one operator and one unit. And this is very powerful in terms of productivity. And special operations like uh, night loading, for example, is something very very uh, interesting for us. So what was the methodology? We um, split the, the, the R process in the main stages. And what we did is that we evaluate and we cut the elephant in small pieces and then you can eat it completely. So um, we develop a solution uh, that for one side we have the mine eye track. Mine eye track is a teleoperated track that can load and drive around the mine without a human in the cabin. Um, it has assisted operation, remote explosive manufacturing, and you can drive more than one unit with one operator, which is which is something that um, enable a lot of uh, opportunities related with pro uh, with productivity. Sorry. For the other side, we have RoboMiner. RoboMiner is a, is a robot that we have here, and it's a robotic unit that can assemble the booster and detonators and can also assist the uh, manai track in the loading process. Also, we have other features like uh, laser mapping, so we can have uh, all the perception around the, uh, the mine with a laser. Um, we can measure toxic gas, uh, we have 3D vision and we can get 
earlier in a dangerous zone without uh, a human uh, uh, involved. All this solution is uh, being controlled from distance from a, from a remote station, and we can control everything without human uh, direct interaction. So what have been the results? Uh, here I have a quick video that will uh, show you guys what we have here. the solution uh, a couple of pictures of, of of this system being implemented in real condition real mines um, here you, we have the operator of the rubber miner controlling the system just like we have here in the booth um, also we have here a picture of the driver the driver uh, driving the mine truck is a very good uh, images and uh, very under controlled process which is very very good um, and to summarize, uh, with this solution, we're enabl enabling automation for open pit mining, something that was not a reality uh, since 2019, where we were actually the first ones that deployed these in real mine conditions. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, for other side, we have a solution. Uh, we didn't bring the equipment, but we have a solution for underground. Underground iTrack is, uh, is the name of this track that basically do the same. I mean, we try to solve problems to our clients. And what's the problem is the safety. Safety in underground is a key. And this is where we evaluate the value chain. We made the same exercise in, than in open pit. And we saw that in the value chain, the only missing link related with automation was blasting. And this is where we start developing a solution uh, that can uh, tackle safety issues like exposed labor, rock burst, and toxic atmosphere. And as you can see in these images, uh, it's very, very graphic, the, the issue here. I mean, uh, we have a very exposed labor in underground, and in some places we have rock burst, when you have a high stress mining, and, and this solution solved that. For other side, we have productivity uh, opportunities related they are the same than open pit related with autonomous operations, interoperability, and deep mining inefficiency. This is something very, uh, very specific, but underground miners is going deeper and deeper. And once it gets deeper, it gets uh, more challenging real, uh, at respect of um, productivity. All right, so this is the underground eye track. Uh, our general view, we have a robotized loading arm. We have also a mechanized pregnant system. And with the, only with these two features, we can perform everything without, without a human at the face, so without a human exposed. Um, we also have an assistant autonomous driving capability, so we can navigate inside the tunnels. And we have a remote factory that can pump and manufacture explosives. Finally, we have the eye control underground, uh, which is a remote station that uh, enables us to deploy this system at any place, at any mine, whenever we want. What's the impact of this? Of course, zero exposure 
for because we are we have a fully remote operation we improve uh, the cycle time we actually are faster uh, for tonic development because of this solution it's fully digitalized and it's it's compatible with other kind of operations like vertical uh, loading for example so summarizing underground robotics uh, we have an available solution for underground mining uh, something that it's uh, in a validation process in a real environment it's not in the lab uh, it's already validated in an actual uh, mine um, we have a mechanized priming and loading system and this is a remote operation away from the cabin because we believe that it's not enough to control everything from the cabin. It must be outside the cabin because we still, you still can find uh, issues with safety inside the cabin even. So that's it guys, I just uh, want to close by saying this, that we have to build together the future of mining. So thank you very much. <laughs>